title would suggest this is a very very exciting time more gumball news to follow shortly no this is not the gumball garage this is garage number one of two that i will be showing with you today but this is posh wash for those of you guys who don't know these are a phenomenal place to come and wash your car in central london they're just off park lane and we have brought down the gt3 for some tlc it hasn't been washed since the track day at anglesey it's covered in bugs it's covered in track grime and rubber from other cars the importance is that i get this car super clean not for the rally, but because we're going to go to garage number two in a minute. Secret garage full of fantastic cars uh, where Gumball are applying all of the decals and stickers for the Gumball Rally's 20th anniversary. We're going from London to Japan. The idea is that I'm going to be taking you guys along for the ride as best as I can. So we're going to get this car cleaned up by Posh, head across London, drop the car off at the secret garage and show you through some of the fantastic cars which are taking place in the Gumball 3000 20th anniversary. Let's hit it. isn't technically the Gumball car park. There are Gumball cars turning up already. Words on the street, Posh is the place to come for your wash. GT3 is looking clean. I'm getting the taste for Gumball. I haven't seen this fantastic AMG safety car. But the graphics on the side of this appropriately represent what we're up to. London to Tokyo. And when we get there, we're gonna be having the full immersion in the Japanese culture, full tour of the country. And I believe at the end, we are guests of the emperor of Japan. So in terms of bucket list moments. This trip is going to be incredible and I'm going to do my best to try and take you guys along for the ride. Let's spend no more time on the ground, head out to London, see what's going on. Thanks so much. start a video where I'm in a car and it's not moving but welcome to central London that is life we're in traffic you know for those of you guys who didn't know I actually lived in London for about seven years and over that time the traffic got unbelievably bad so I moved out of town and now I'm back trying to uh, navigate my old routes in the GT3 but there's a vibe isn't there because it's gumball time now if you guys have been following the channel for some time, uh, you might remember me doing Gumball back in like 2016. I'd missed last year, which was a shame, but I've been holding myself off for the biggie, and this is the biggie. This is the 20th anniversary. Last time I did it, I took my GT3. It was almost the best car I can think of. It doesn't look like it might be, despite the fact that the rear is full of scaffolding, AKA roll cage. It's really practical. It's got loads of space, it's comfortable, and most of all, I believe it's one of the most reliable supercars. And that's why I'm choosing to take it on this monumental journey. Now, first things first, is for me to apply the Gumball stickers to the car. That then is, is when your car is really classed as being in the rally. Without it, it's just any other car. But as soon as your stickers go on, everything changes. And I mean everything, because not only does the aesthetics of your car change, but so does the insurance on your car. Now, Gumball, while it's not classed as a real rally or a race by any means, there is different insurance criteria for it because it is classed as an event by most insurers. And so Gumball have partnered up with their own insurer to help you, you get insurance, which has been somewhat of a stumbling block for me because it's been, well, upsettingly expensive. <laughs> <laughs> However, we're only going to have one 20th anniversary of Gumball 3000 and we're going from London to Tokyo. Now, I've never been to Japan. So to be able to fully immerse myself in that country, we're going to be driving all around it. 
in a group of like-minded petrol heads with incredible supercars, I couldn't think of any better way of, of experiencing that wonderful country. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna traverse myself through the London traffic and then we're gonna ultimately end up at the secret Gumball car park to apply decals and share with you some of the cars that are doing the rally. All right, we're in the underground car park where all the cars are. There they are. All the cars are being stickered. Look at this lineup. Oh, it's on now. It is GT2. It is on, boys. Right, let's park up and show you what's what. So welcome to the secret Gumball garage. I genuinely mean it when it's a secret. Only Gumball entrants have been given the address to this place. The reason being there is the collection of the greatest cars in London right now. It's a Gumball cars as well, so the energy in here. This is one thing that happens. There's a lot of build up to Gumball. Uh, Gumball becomes a very big family community spirit and there's chat groups from years and years gone by of people involved in the rally and every time someone joins for the following year they get added to this year's group so there's a 2018 gumball group and it's been ramping up and ramping up and ramping up and the chats and the pictures of the cars and everything and that's very cool but it's not until you arrive and you're amongst the reality of the situation that we are going from london to japan together as one big crazy family i've got goosebumps i have actual goosebumps the cars are getting wrapped behind us the sponsor stickers are getting applied there is a tangible energy the smiles are through the roof everyone's laughing clapping and hugging i'm going to give you a tour of this garage before we head over to the main hotel all right so check this out first i've got to show you these two these guys are fresh off the plane from dubai it's a significant connection for myself you guys may know that i sent the speciali out there for a month with appropriately placed sticker emirates I saw pictures on these guys' Instagram of them coming off the plane at Heathrow, which is really cool. They're wrapped in this beautiful satin purple finish. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up in this light, but they look amazing as a pair, and they're both quadrifolios. Now, I had the delight of Alfa Romeo inviting me to the launch of the Stelvio quadrifolio um, out in Ras Al Khaimah last year, which is fantastic, and the Julia quadrifolio acted as our support car for the Millimilia earlier this year. Honestly, as far as two support cars go, I'm not sure which one I'd pick from. They're both fantastic. We had a manual Giulia Quadrifoglio out in Italy and it was so much fun. So these guys are going to be having a ride. They've also brought with them this monumental film crew which is going to be accompanying them along the way but um, as I mentioned this is the thing now everyone is all together in one place. Let me show you some more cars. I mean it goes on and on and on. Another amazing thing about Gumball is that they bring out the latest and the greatest. Now I'm only aware of one or two Lamborghini Euros that have hit the road in the UK. This one's from the Netherlands. It has yet to be stickered up. But this is what's so fantastic. We're going to be having cars like this. They're barely on the road doing such a massive event like Gumball. Now it's not every single car which is going to make its way to Japan. My car, for example, is doing the leg from London to Bologna in Italy, uh, France in the middle, and then I'm leaving it in Bologna and it's getting shipped back home. And then when I get to Japan, I'm going to be jumping in an Aston Martin. More on that soon. And I'm not sure yet which ones of these cars are going to be joining the whole rally. But it also means that when we get to Japan, there's going to be new cars joining us for the Japan leg as well. So this is going to be an ever-evolving wash of cars. This is a percentage of them as well. There's, I think there's 120 cars. I mean, in here, there's probably 30, if that. It's just getting going, and already, just the collection in here would make a ridiculous rally. Okay, so after hanging around all those cars with stickers and graphics all over them, the GT3 is looking really plain amongst all of the Gumball cars. The idea is, however, that I'm leaving the car here overnight. The team, as you can see, is really busy taking care of the wraps. When I return to this car tomorrow, it's going to be fully branded, and then we are really in the Gumball 3000. Okay, there's some pretty crazy cars here, but this guy, this guy's a hero. London to Tokyo in a KTM crossbow. Now it looks like he does have the windshield on this car, hence this, this area here, but there's no roof and he's gonna be exposed for 3,000 miles. 
this guy's a baller. So for those of you guys who may not be familiar of the format of Gumball 3000, uh, there's no prizes for coming first place. It's not a race and it's not actually a rally despite the fact that it's called the Gumball Rally. Um, you win prizes like Spirit of the Gumball Award. So it's those who have embraced the adventure and the culture and the community the most and really lived what Gumball stands for. They're the kind of guys which are most likely to win a prize of sorts. But there's no prizes for first place. Uh, it's very much, you know, discouraged to race. But when I see cars like the crossbow, I'm always like, these guys, these guys are fully embracing the fact that they, it's already a crazy adventure. I think I'm not doing it full stop, but to do it in something like this, nah, that's cool. Hotel. I've had a bit of a media briefing to chat about uh, getting involved with some really interesting people on the rally this year. But this is what I was talking about with regards to the energy. We've got cars lined up outside the hotel. This is when I really feel it. This is when all of the sort of anticipation and predictions of what the rally is going to be starts to unfold. When everyone's wraps come out, the themes start to happen. It's a really exciting time. Speaking of exciting time, now is the point where I introduce you to my co-driver, who I'm sure most of you will probably be familiar with. Okay, I've set this camera up in front of what looked like an adult-sized chair, and it's, it's really not. So when my co-driver joins me, we're gonna look like we're in some weird, weird sort of Playboy shoot. <sighs> look who it is. This is about to be the craziest adventure ever. Beyond ridiculous. So, for those of you guys who have been living under a rock, this is Parker, and he runs the YouTube channel, Vehicle Virgins. Um, you've never done the Gumball before. I have never done it. I, I was just saying how fascinated I am to see what your face is going to look like at the end of this. <laughs> I've done a decent amount of rallies, but they've yeah. all been in the US, okay. so not only is it cool that the cars are very different, like I've never seen an RS6 in person. No. I know you own one, but I've never wow. seen one. And there's three on the rally. Yeah. And then cars that like haven't quite hit the states as well as they have here, like seeing GT2 RSs on a rally, okay. that's not happening really? in the states. I a saw Urus, a Lamborghini Urus, right? Yeah, down the Urus, there. that's crazy. But this is, you get to travel through a whole bunch of different countries and then we go to Asia. I mean, that is the coolest thing. That to me, I still, okay, so just back me up when I tell these guys that how much notice have I given you for this rally, for this rally <laughs> across the world? <laughs> We, we've been going back and forth whether we were even going for the last two weeks and we pretty much confirmed it two days ago or maybe just yesterday. Yeah, that's not, there's no That's not even exaggerated. Yeah, I think, act, interestingly, that um, almost epitomizes how the next 12 days are gonna yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have no idea what's going on, but mm. it's gonna be epic. Yeah, so link below to Parker's channel. Uh, you can follow his escapades as well as mine. Despite the fact that we're gonna be in the same car together at the same time, we're very much gonna make a conscious effort to try and Absolutely. bring you guys different kinds of content. Absolutely. Uh, we're in the GT3, as you've seen. Uh, spent much time in the yeah, GT3? Yeah, I have. Okay, cool. Not, uh, not a 991.2, okay. but I've driven a fair amount of 991.1 GT3s and GT3 RSs. RSs. It's exactly the same. But uh, so, yeah, it's just a, it's just a little <laughs> better and somehow yeah. goes around the, the Nürburgring like way, way faster. faster which is yeah, so they're like, yeah, yeah, we just did this it's and like that. It's, it's 20 seconds faster. Yeah, <laughs> there's a bit more torque and the turn in's a bit sharper. But I think because they're an evolution of a platform that's like 70 years old, yeah. we're not going to break down. No, so that's no, cool. no, no, no. It's, it's, it's actually a really good supercar to take on the rally. Yeah. A, a sure. Porsche like that because yeah, it's not... The 2RS might be a little bit too uncomfortable. Maybe, I still, maybe. I would still, yeah, still I would love to, to do we that. We have a 2RS, 2RS here. It's like, there's two of them. Two? There's a red one and a silver one. I just saw them. It's unbelievable. The caliber of cars on this trip is going to be ridiculous. Also, when we get to Japan, there's going to be a whole new set of cars. So it's going to keep the content super fresh. So almost everyone is changing up their cars? Not, not almost everyone, but, but there's people, people who aren't doing the Euro leg and are, who are wow. joining from Japan. Wow. And the Japan and car versa, culture yeah. is like next level crazy. Oh, I've seen the lights. I've and equally, them. like us, we're swapping cars for the Japan leg. More on that soon. But anyway, dude, 
This is awesome. This is awesome. This is gonna be the best trip it's ever. It's an honor for me to have you, you along from the other Likewise. side of the pond. I'm very excited for it. Uh, questions and comments below. We wanna know what you wanna see. Yeah. This is a big event. I said the same exact thing to my yeah. audience. Like, Let us know. Uh, it's about to go off on a level previously undefined. As always, thanks for watching, and we shall see you on the Gumball Rally in the next video. Ciao! I just did a really weird thing. That was that <laughs> <one>. <laughs>